All right, so let me just begin from, let me just begin because I was trying to explain it first. I thought I was going to finish it with before the, as the time elapses. So let me just take time to explain this question. So it's also one of the important concepts that you need to know. Okay, so what I was saying is this, you have, um, you have this uh, diagram that you've been given here. So the next thing that you need to draw is the free body diagram. And the other thing that I forgot to mention at the beginning of uh, this uh, course is that free body diagrams are very important. Free body diagrams are very important. Most of the lectures even give marks for that. Because without a free body diagram, when you're doing this course, if you can't draw a free body diagram, then you can't solve any question. So you have to always have that eye which sees beyond a normal diagram. You have to know how to see a skeleton in a normal diagram. Because we're going to be having complicated structures that are way much complicated than this. This one is simple. Yeah, so you may be given a very complicated structure and then you've been told to analyze that structure to find the, the shear forces, to find the internal work, uh, to, to find the internal energies. Yeah, so, so we all, to find the what's the moments, we do all those things. So let's try to look at this diagram. I'll take time step by step so that you understand. So we've been told to say we have the U and the V axis. And then we've been told to resolve um, the, the, what is the horizontal uh, 600 pounds force into the U and the V components. And then how do we do that? So how do we find the magnitude of those components? Remember the first thing, the first step, you draw the parallelogram of this given structure. Yeah, so how do we do that? So I have this, um, I have this component, which is the U component. I'm going to draw it like that. Then apart from that, I also have the V component, which is, um, let me just try to draw something parallel to this. Okay. And then we also have this horizontal force that has been given, which is 600 pounds. So we are going to draw um, the, the parallel. We're going to draw the parallel uh, lines to the forces that have been given. So we have the force in the U axis, and then we also have the force in the V axis. So I'm going to draw a parallel force uh, or a parallel line uh, to FU, which is in the U axis. So we're going to draw this line. So this should be parallel to this force, this side. And then I'm also going to draw a force that is parallel or a line that is parallel to this one. So this should also be parallel to that. So this is going to be considered to be the magnitude of the resultant, which is given to be 600 pounds. So from here now, we know to say if this is FV, the parallel vector will also be FV. If this is FU, the parallel vector will also be FU. So I can get one of these triangles because I know to say here, I've been given to say this part is what? Is 30 degrees. And according to this, when you, when you draw a line here in the U component, when you draw a line there, this will, will show us that this part if this part is 30 degrees, this part will also be what? 30 degrees. And we know to say all internal angles of a triangle add up to what? 180. So we need to find this angle that we are going to put there. So we know to say 30 degrees plus 30 degrees plus this angle, which, are, which we are going to call X plus X should add up to what? 180 degrees. So when you add these two, you are getting 60 degrees then you say plus X is equal to 180 degrees. So you take this 60 to the other side of the equal sign, meaning it to be negative 60, negative 60 plus, plus negative 60. So this part will give us a zero, just remain with X, and this side will give us um, 120 degrees. So meaning this angle here is simply just 120. 
So we can get this same triangle which we have analyzed on top there. So this is going to be uh, like this. So we have F U there, and then we also have um, this. So I'm going to draw something like this. Okay. So we have a 30 degrees there. We also have another 30 degrees there. Then we also have a 120 degrees there. Then this one has been given to be 600 uh, pounds. And then this side is our FV. So if you have two angles that have been given and you have two unknown sides, it means that um, if you have all angles given and you have two unknown sides, what you just need to do is to what you just need to do is to use the sign rule to find the other missing sides. Yeah. So the sign rule states that if you have fu, this fu should be divided by a sign of its opposite angle. So fu is here. Its opposite angle is one twenty. So we're going to say over sign one twenty degrees. And then the other thing that we've been given here is a 600, 600. So we're going to put our 600 there. Then we say over, its opposite angle is, so the opposite angle to 600 is 30. So we're going to put sine 30 there. And then this will now be um, uh, sine 120. So sine 120, you, you, you are allowed to use calculators. So this one is a straightforward thing. So sine 120 will simply uh, give us uh, the root of three over two, if you are using special angles. So this will give us the root of three over two. Yeah, so let me just use special angles. So we have root three over two, and then this will be equal to, we have 600 there, then everything over, sine 30 will be one over two. So when you, um, when you find FU, when you find FU, uh, FU should give you something like, um, give you something like 1039.2. Uh, so when you use a calculator, FU will be 1039.2. Uh, Two, three. So this is going to be your force in the what? In the U axis. So this would be that. Then you put your neutrons there. And then the other thing is that, I mean, the other question they've asked us to find is the force in the V axis. So how do we find that? Using the same triangle, we've been given, uh, so now we have uh, three sides. So for this one, you can use any, uh, of the two methods. You can either use the sine rule or the cosine rule. The answer will still be the same. Yeah, so you still find the same answer, whether you use the cosine rule or the sine rule, because almost everything has been given. What we're just missing with is one side. So if you use the sine rule, we can say FV over the opposite angle there will be 30. So we we'll still have sine 30 there. And then this will be equal to, um, you can use, we can either use this side or this side, I mean, or 600. So let me just use 600. Then say everything over, again, sine 30. So you can see that this sine 30 and that sine 30 will go, meaning our FV will still remain what? 600 Newtons. So it is as simple as that. Do we have any questions on this uh, question? If you have any questions, feel free to ask. So, okay. Okay, since you don't have questions, um, I have questions for you. So this is just a solution. I have questions for you. Uh, this is an exercise which you will be expected to uh, submit before the next statics lesson. Yeah, so I give exercises in order to know if whether what I'm teaching is, if you're understanding what I'm teaching or not. So you do this exercise. There are actually two questions. There's this one, and then there's also this one. Yeah, so the first one is asking you to find, I mean, to determine the magnitude of the components. 
which is uh, similar to the one that we did at first. And then, um, I mean, which is, um, yeah, similar to, to the one that we did on the second, uh, on the second example. Then this one is also asking you to do the same. Yeah, so it's simple. Yeah, for this one, at least, if, uh, for this one, you've not been given the result and what you've been given is uh, the one of the components. And then they're asking you to find the resultant, which is F and also the other component. All right, so you should submit before we meet in the next statics lesson, which is on, um, Wednesday, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to have our next lesson on Wednesday. Eh? Is it Thursday? Yeah, should be Thursday. I want to have an, our next lesson on Thursday. So you have two days in between to do this, these two questions. Yeah, so you submit uh, using WhatsApp and then I'll mark and send back to you the results. All right, so thank you very much for attending tonight's lesson. These are some of the books that you, uh, you can be using to study. Yeah, so in case you need them, I think I'll send them tomorrow morning to the group so that you can have them in advance for revision and to also research. Okay, so these are my contacts on the screen. Feel free to contact me anytime you have any questions. See you in the next lesson. My name is Hamted. Shalom. Good night. All right. Thank you.